Good morning everyone, welcome back to the MCM Outdoor Show. Um, woke up quite early, not had the best night's sleep. It's been a fairly busy week in work and I think we all have those weeks from time to time. So um, I've just decided to pack my bag and head up to the Lake District. I'm not sure where I'm going to do but because it's not <coughs> it's not the earliest time to, to set off and drive to the lake so um, I'll probably just do red screes or something like that. So it's just going to be a short one but I hope you enjoy it. Let's head up the M6 and get to the Lake District. arrived at the Lake District it's 20 to 12 it took us about an hour and a half to get up here we're in the car park opposite the Kirkstone Pass in and we're here at the base of Red Screes which is atop the Kirkstone Pass it's a favorite little walk of mine um, I use the word walk so climb because there's not much scrambling on this one I've been here a couple of times and I have made a video previously but I like it so much so I thought what the hell I'll come and make another video a um, couple of reasons why. I mean, it's a great family little walk. You've done a, you've taken a lot of the ascent out of it because we're we're quite high up here already. Um, the paths are really well laid. It's like slabs up the the majority of the route, and of course uh, there's a pub at the start of the walk, which means there's a pub at the end of the walk. You can see the pub for the duration of the climb, so that acts as a great little motivator for getting yourself back down off the hill. They've always got a great fire on here, so I think it would be rude not to pop in and uh, have a warming pint by the fire at the end of this one. Like I say, it was a last minute decision to, to come here today. Um, I've had an awful night's sleep, didn't get much sleep at all after a crap week in work, frankly. So, I mean, what better thing to do to lift the soul than to come out and um, enjoy the lovely Lake District. I hope you enjoy this one. I'm not gonna waffle so much to try and capture the scenery um, and what I love um, about this walk. Got a little stove to have a brew at the top and um, yeah let's uh, let's get out let's get my boots on and let's get on the mountain. So the walk starts off directly from the car park and it's a nice easy gradient to begin with just to get your body warmed up. <coughs> it's six degrees already um, so I should imagine it's going to be near to the freezing point on the top. So always make sure you've got your gloves, your hat and your warm gear. You can take layers off but you can't put them on if you haven't got them. So here we are, we're just going to pick our way up this route up to the first mini summit if you will. So, like I've said on previous videos, it's a great one for families because this is the type of path, no one's going to get into difficulty and uh, you can introduce your, your children 
and other family members to the benefits of hill walking in relative safety just obviously follow a bit of common sense make sure you've got a map compass and you know how to read it the right clothing and the right equipment and come and start a new hobby something that all the family can do together off the iPads off the Xbox and out into the great outdoors getting strange looks what's that man doing with a camera talking to himself I'm not remotely bothered so look all you want fellas there you go So, <coughs> how's Hughes? Fair enough, not too bad, considering I've had about two hours sleep <coughs> and I've had a, a cold for about three weeks, <coughs> not too bad. Uh, I did start running again at one point and uh, <coughs> I was doing a couple of miles every other day, but uh, I just haven't kept that up too busy with work and things like that but I think the last time I did this little walk I was uh, nearly 15 stone and I'm 12 7 now so in theory I'm carrying a lot a lot less weight on my uh, on my little legs I'm intending to come and do a wild camp up here at some time so I'm going to scope out a bit of a spot <coughs> possibly one for a uh, PK and his new tent let us know what you think below but <clears throat> a bit of a festive themed wild camp might be a good idea so we'll see onwards and upwards gonna have to get serious now we're about to scramble up death face it's a well-known fatality route and uh, we really need to be careful up here a slip from the height of uh, two foot could result in a bruised ego um, you know you might you might even cut your hand you've just got to be really careful on things like this three points of contact at any one time don't rush it and uh, you know just think of what's at stake so I'm going to take my time up this one um, yeah you just don't want to fall off uh, ideally you should be roped up on sections like this because uh, like I've said a slip from from this height would prove fatal and uh, I'm sorry about the shakiness of the footage uh, it's just a sheer terror of uh, what I've just come up so there you go death face we've survived it this time it's like Russian roulette every time you go up that um, you just never know if you're gonna make it up alive but there you go death face nil easy one we're still here to tell the tale so I'm just gonna get up to this bit of a plateau and take on some water temperatures really dropping now hopefully there's a little bit of ice on the summit we can only hope any of you guys or girls follow Hayes outdoors is uh, his last video on place fell shout out Hazy how's it going um, and Joey D, I don't know if you're going to watch this, probably not, but congratulations on being a dad, best thing in the world. Well, Hazy was over there on Place Fell, down the other end of the Kirkstone Pass. I'll put a link to their channel below, and also 
Live Simply Films and Alan Metalman. Shout out to Al again. Cracking fella up Durham Way. I don't know if we can call him a Geordie, but he sounds like a Geordie. He's a cracking fella and he loves the great outdoors. So I'd share a pint with anyone like that any day. And uh, Cy Rollison, I told you, I'll give you a little shout out. He's uh, he's crying in bed because he's uh, he's got a cold. I'm only joking. I'm sure it's uh, worse than that. Get better soon, Cy. Get back out running. That'll make you feel better. So, yeah. I'm going to plonk myself up there and take on some water. Okay, we're about three quarters of the way up. And I'm just going to show you a 360 degree view of what I'm looking at. It's really cold now and uh, it's just brilliant. It's so peaceful. Um, it's a little Jack Russell barking up there. You can hear it echoing in this little cauldron out here. It's pretty eerie. That's the Kilnshaw chimney up there. I think Alan Hinks has done a couple of climbs up there in full snow. That's way above my ability. Respect Alan. If anyone doesn't know who he is, uh, you've got serious issues. Hello? Well, it's a really atmospheric day and we're about to top out on the final plateau of Red Screes. It's just, I know I'm repeating myself and I'm sorry if I'm boring you, but it's just such a stunning place. I can't stop taking pictures. Um, we need bigger memory cards and longer battery life. Um, but what a brilliant day out I've had so far. It's not everyone's idea of an adventure, but it's my idea of an adventure. And as Lisa Rothwell said, and she liked that bit of a tagline, remember, anything can be an adventure. Always remember that in life. Because life's an adventure. <coughs> It's got its ups and downs, very much so for me at the moment. I won't bore you with the detail, but embrace it and come out the other side stronger, more experienced and a better person for it. <clears throat> I wasn't going to do today, I was possibly going to give it a miss. But with a bit of a push, look what we've done.
Okay, everyone. Hopefully, I'm in shot. <coughs> it's time for a beer review on top of a mountain. It's the Redwell Steam Lager, but I think it's going to taste different because we're up on the summit of Red Screes. So let's just see. I've got my gloves on. I can't over it. I'll go. On. A crisp opening. Just put that down carefully to avoid any disasters. Let's put my glove back on. Here we go. Let's have a slow drive by with a breakdown. Let's do that again because I was rudely interrupted. That is like like someone's grabbed me by the back of the head and smashed my face repeatedly into a box of off the sell by date oranges in Morrison's <coughs> that's all I can that's all I can relate that to like literally being thrown head first into the uh, the whoopsie box of uh, of oranges but it's not unpleasant recommended and it's available in Aldi go and buy some go and buy four and drink them Right, I've had to don the old buff. I got this as a present off my mum and dad when I was 14. So uh, it's fairly old now. Keep you warm. Um, I'm gonna get off the summit, go and have a pint, head home and edit this video. So like I've said on this walk, uh, one of the main benefits is the pub. And this is what happens after you're cold, you're on your way down, you're feeling a little bit demoralized, but this happens. What, what on earth is that? Yep, it's the Kirkstone Pass in. All you need is a zip line. <coughs> but that gives you the boost you need to carry on. Let's get to it. It's enough waffle on the mountain. Okay folks, here we are, back at the level of the car park, it's been a cracking couple of hours on the summit of Red Screes, um, I feel refreshed, revitalised and invigorated, um, I'm going to dump my bag, go and have a pint and head home via booths to uh, live the Hollywood lifestyle of the single man and uh, 
get myself a microwave meal. I think a bottle of red wine is going to happen um, <coughs> because that's always good for a bit of inspiration when you're video editing. I hope you like this one. Uh, I'm about to walk into the bog of eternal stench, so if I disappear, you know why. Please give us a thumbs up. I know there's always a couple of thumbs down. You can't please everyone. We're on Twitter at MCM Outdoor Show. We have a Facebook page and a group. Just ask to join. And we're also on Instagram. Just search for our name. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to the channel. There'll be plenty more videos to come, including an extreme winter camp. So we'll see you on the next adventure. And don't forget, anything can be an adventure. Let's go and have a pint, but there'll be no more talking from me. See you next time.